Hi guys, with the end of the season approaching, I wanted to put a video out because I know there's been a lot of discussion in the Discord about how we're going to introduce new teams, etc. So I thought I'd come and put together some dates for you guys, put together some guidelines so you can start thinking about what team you want to include. The end of regular season is the 21st uh, of this month, so just over two weeks away now. Um, if you want to start your pre-season then, you certainly can. The way pre-season will work for existing coaches is we will set up a ladder for you and you can essentially play as many games as you want to in that ladder um, up to um, the point where your team reaches a team value of sorry, excuse me, a team value of 1600. Um, I've had a look at the scores around the league and people's team ratings and stuff and 1600 seems to be about the middle point. Um, we may change that a bit closer to the date, but we'll go with 1600 for now. On the 21st, we also start our playoffs. So the top four teams are going to get through. Now, we're going to aim to get the playoffs done in a week. So the guys that get to the final, apologies, but you're going to have to play two in a week. Uh, we want to keep the season rolling. We've got quite a few new coaches as well. So I don't want them sitting around for you know a month or so um, if we can start getting them in and start getting them involved. So I hope everyone understands. Um, in regards to those new coaches and those coaches that are looking to re-roll their teams, um, here's how it's going to work. So you can bring in a team that is played in the CCL. So we have a, a rule where you can essentially move an existing team or you know one that you've had a, a past season in the CCL as long as all the games have been in the CCL. What we don't want is someone bringing in a team that's maybe um, come from like a private league or something like that and you know we don't know what the rule sets are, we don't know if you're allowed like you know, some uh, I know some leagues allow you to have like a, a couple of free wins and stuff, so we don't want to do that. We want them to come from a competitive environment. The only sort of rule around that we have is that 1600 bracket. So they've got to be from the CCL and they've got to be n worth no more than 1600 TV. I mean, you can bring in a 600 TV goblin team if you want to, that's absolutely fine. Um, but that's how we'll be introducing new teams to the league. So hopefully it'll give you guys a fair chance um, for season three. Because um, it's not really fun to try, you know, if you want to play like humans or orcs or something like that. If you brought a fresh orc team into our league now, if I give you two preseason games, it's not going to help you. So you've got the opportunity now, you've got three weeks until the start of the new season to start skilling up a team uh, and making sure that you're ready for that new season. Now, the final thing that I wanted to um, finish off with is to explain to current coaches and new coaches how our seasons are going to work. Um, we have got a couple of posts in the chat, but I don't think it's as clear as it could be. So we're essentially doing seasons in like blocks of three. So season one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Now, they're going to be essentially like time periods. So you can have a team for a block, but the blocks can't overlap. So if I've got a team that I've started in season one, I can take them to season one, two and three. If I've got a season that I start in season three, I can't take it into season four, if you get me, because that's a new block boundary. Um, might seem a bit weird at first, but the reason why I'm going to implement this is basically to stop having like 2,700 point kill teams just sat at the top of, of the league after a couple of years. So hopefully it's going to encourage people to try out different teams. You know, you might have had two seasons, your team's bashed up and you might think, right, I want to try something fun like goblins or vampires or something like that for my last season. And then, you know, in the next block, I'm going to come back and, 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 try, and, and try and win it. Or you might stick with the same team for, for three seasons. There's no problem there either way. Um, yeah, just wanted to put some thoughts down in a video so you guys can watch it to your leisure. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'm available in the Discord all the time, so just drop me a message. And yeah, I look forward to postseason and, and the new season. So good luck, guys.
Oh, oh, final thing. Um, thanks to everyone as well uh, for getting their games played. I appreciate we've had a, a, a dropout and it's been a little bit disruptive, but um, yeah, we want to try and make the playoff race as fair as possible. So we don't want to be handing out our like, admin wins or anything like that if we can avoid it. So thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you have an awesome weekend. <laughs>